All right. So the other day, I made a claim that I had a million posts. And so to some people, one million does not equal 64, which I actually had at the time. But today I'm going to blow some people's minds, confuse some people, and for a lot of people, I hope most people, it'll make a, just a lot of sense. So that brings me to the topic of number bases. <laughs> which is the concept of that we're used to base 10, which lets you use any number 0 through 9 in in like the number. There are other bases that a lot of people are used to that a lot of people might have known about like base 2 binary which uses only zeros and ones. And some people might have heard about base 16, hexadecimal, which is zero through F. And if you're confused on why there are letters, don't worry, I'll go over that later. So what number bases pretty much are is it's the same number, but just with different numbers used. So let's say you have two, three, four, s no, let's not do six. Let's do another two, one, and a zero. And to denote, denote the base that you're using, you put a little subscript. So in this one, let's say it's base five. So to go from base five to a base 10 number, technically, it's not from just base 5. What I'm doing is I'll tell you, and you can adapt it to any other base. So you rewrite it. So this would be the 1 place, 5 to the 0. Technically the 5th place, 5 to the 1st. 5 squared, the 25th place. And so on. 1, 2, 3... Four, five. Okay. So what you do is you multiply the top number by the bottom number. So this would be zero times one, zero, plus one times five, five, plus two times twenty-five, fifty, plus four times one twenty-five, five hundred, plus. That's 625 times 3. That would be... See, I do math on the fly. 1,875. 5 to the 5th would be... 3,125. And then times 2... So that would be 6,250. And then you add those up. So you have 6,250, 1,875, 550, and 5. So that's a 1, 0, 10, 18, 16, 8. So that means that 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 0, base 5, turns into... 8,680 base 10. So let's, I'm just going to go over the process again. In order to do, go from a base to base 10, you multiply the number in that place by the base number to the exponent, starting with 0, because that's the 1's place in every single base. So 5 to the 0, 5 to the 1st, 5 squared, 5 cubed, 5 to the 4th, 5 to the 5th. Multiply, and then you add them all together. In this case, you get 8,680. And you can do the same. And then before, I talked about base 16. Any number, any base that's greater than 10, base 11, for example, starts using letters to denote those numbers that we don't have, uh, we can't draw. 
So let's say that you have, I'm just gonna make sure. So let's say you have, let's say you have A, B, C, nine, five, base, we'll just say this is base 16. So we wanna turn that to base 10. So you have A, B, C, nine, five. Well, A is pretty much the same thing as 10, because 9, and then after 9, you can't draw 10 as a single digit. So instead, you write A. So that's like a 10, B is like 11, C is a 12, and so on. So 5 times 16 to the 0, 16 to the 1st, 16 squared, 16 cubed, 16 to the fourth, and I just realized I'm going to regret doing so big, such big numbers, but we'll do with we'll deal with it anyway. So five plus 144 plus two, uh, 256 times 12. 11, five. Oh wow, well, uh, six, five, two, two, seven, zero, one, thirty, seventy-two. 256 times 16, because that's an easy thing. You know that this is squared, so you just multiply by 16. 36, 3, 12, 15, 0, 6, 5, 2, 6, 9, 0, 1, 4, 40, 96. I should have known that. And multiply that by 11, 6, 9, 0, 4, 0, 6, 9, 0, 4, 6, 5, 1, 0, 1, Five, four. <laughs> These are big numbers. Five, six, and then so you ha want your forty ninety six multiplied by sixteen once more to get sixteen to the fourth. So you got your thirty six, fifty seven, five, twenty four, zero, six, zero, six. Yeah. Six three one five one five six. Oh wow! Why did I even do that? <laughs> See, what um the reason I was complaining there is just because programming um numbers show up a lot. So like this is what's called an eight bit. No, sorry, that's not eight bit. That's sixteen bit, and it's actually one more than a sixteen bit number. Don't mind the paper shredder. And so, yeah, those are so those are like the numbers that sh will sh end up happening a lot. And so that's so that means that this a in the sixteen to the fourth place will be six five five three six zero. So you just have to add that up. I'm gonna reuse this so that I don't have to rewrite that again. So that would be six five zero five four. Then you'd have your thirty is seventy two, one forty four, and five. And then you're gonna add that up eight, nine, seventeen. Ooh, that looks like a wonderful number right there. So seven, fourteen, eighteen, twenty three, five, six, ten, thirteen. 10, 7. So that means that A, B, C, 9, 5, base 16 is the same thing as 36, 37, base 10. That's a 3. And then we're going to go to the back side of this sheet. See, I'm making sure that the whole thing goes into view because I just realized that a lot of it might not be able to be seen. So let's go back. Let's talk now about going from base 10 to other bases. So let's say you have 21 base 10 and you want to turn it to another base. Let's say you want it to turn it into base 2. So to do that, you have to find the biggest number to the x 
that is greater than well sorry <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to explain this but you want to find whatever x is here so 2 to the x less than 21 you want to find the biggest value of x so 2 to the 0 1 2 to the first 2 2 squared 4 2 cubed 8 2 to the 4 16 2 to the fifth 32 32 bigger than 21 so you stop there so you have one two three four five different places let me just rotate this because paper likes to slide around so you have one two three four five places two to the zero two to the first two squared two cubed two to the fourth so here how many times does 16 fit into 21 once 21 minus 16 you get 5 2 cubed is 8 how many times does 8 fit into 5 0 times 2 squared 4 how many times does 4 fit into 5 once 5 minus 4 1 2 to the first 2 how many times does 2 fit into 1 0 times 2 to the 0 1 how many times does 1 fit in once minus 1 0 so that's the, that's the logic. That's how you go through it. You have your number, and then you minus this, uh, the number in that place times your exponential form to get, like, so, for example, 1 times 2 to the 4 16. So you have five numbers left. And then you keep on going until you get to 0. So that means that 21 base 10 is the same thing as 10101 10, base 2. And let's say you wanted to go from 21. No, let's not do 21 again. Let's do uh, let's do 500 base 10 and you wanted to turn it into a base 16. So you have 16 to the 0, 1, 16 to the first, 16, 16 squared, 256. Um, 16 cubed is, is that one 4096? I believe so. But anyway, it's bigger. So 16 squared, how many times does, so that means you have three places. See, I'm getting ahead of myself. 16 to the first, 16 to the zero. Let me make sure that you can see all that. Good. All right. So 16 squared, 256, how many times does that fit in? Once. That's right on the line, so that's a 1. So you have 500 minus 256, then you get 144. So 16, that fits in, I think, actually exactly 9 times. <laughs> it's funny when numbers work out perfectly. So 500 base 10 is the same thing as 190, base 16. Let me square that off. And you can do the same with decimals, but I think I'll leave that for another video. So to finalize, we'll do... I said I had 1 million posts. And by now you might be guessing, oh, that might be binary. Then you're correct. So you have 1 million, so you have your 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, and 2 to the 6th. 2 to the 6th is the only, one mat the, that, the only one that matters because that's the only one with a 1. 2 to the 6th is, you guessed it, 64. So that's how you can have 64 of something but also have 1 million at the same time. This is Ordler 8X signing off.